Okay, hi everybody. So, words, pictures, formulas. How does the fundamental theorem of calculus allow us to exactly compute some one-dimensional integrals? Okay, so I'll start with words. Um, the fundamental theorem of calculus, fundamental theorem of calculus, um, says that to integrate a function, a function f is easy provided, well, provided we can find another function whose derivative is f. Uh, let's give this one a name, capital F. Another function, capital F, uh, whose derivative is f, um, and it says, it says that, and then I'll give a formula, uh, the integral of f on some part of the real line, well, let's say um, from a to b, will be equal to f of b minus f of a. So this complicated thing is a limit of weighted sums of the values of f um, all between, and maybe I'll add a little picture, um, you know, between the value a and the value b, uh, f puts, takes all these points and spits out a number. Like maybe it puts 17 there, maybe it puts a 22 there, maybe it's a negative 12 there. Um, that's what f does. And we want to take some weighted sum and a limit of it. And all we have to do is just plug in. That's really easy. Um, so let's, let's show what we mean by doing the example in part b. So part b, um, compute this. Well, when a is the interval 2 to 5, and f is x squared. So maybe in single variable calculus, you might have written the 2 down here and the 5 up there. Of course, it doesn't matter what you write, uh, provided you understand what you are doing. But in single variable calculus, maybe we don't, we just sort of know to do this. Like, here's capital F. Um, and then they teach us to write a line like that. And then we, we plug in, and now here's the f of b, is I'm going to plug this 5 into this capital F. Here's my little f. Then I'll plug the 2. Oh. Take my... Ran out of juice. Okay, I'll just talk for a little bit. So I'm just plugging in f of b minus f of a, sort of without thinking. So... It, Everything in part B is just, I don't even have to think as long as I just plug things in in the correct way, um, which is a little dangerous to do things without thinking because you don't really know what you're doing by definition if you're not thinking. What's, uh, what's 2 to the third? So I plugged in the 2 right there. That's what I'm doing, the f of a plugging in. And... You know, so this is some number. That's the answer. So this thing, this integral, is just this number. Amazing. Amazing that all we had to do is subtract, uh, provided we can find this mystery function whose derivative is f. Okay. Okay, uh, why does the FTC sometimes fail us? Let's do that in words. The FTC is unhelpful. It's unhelpful if we can't find capital F uh, with this being true. All right, so if we, if we can't find capital F, then we cannot plug in and subtract. Okay? Um, and I'll just say that Often, often, this is the case. 
Um, in general, integrating is hard. Okay, so only for certain special things do we actually know how to find this f. Um, computers can help. Uh, integration tables can help of people who have found capital F for various small f's. You know, the whole thing is sort of ridiculous. That it's just like this guess game. It can be really fun, um, but it's important to realize that it doesn't always work. Uh, doesn't always work. Okay. That's all. This is my answer. Let's look at, um, I was just testing myself. Let's look at my other answer. Here is my other answer. 